Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try and depop my gigantic pain in the ass Morphe palette. This is the 35, no 39A. It is giant. It's huge. It takes up so much space. It's ridiculous. If I want to put this on my desk to use it, um, it's absurd. Open it up. There she is. 39 shades. Um, this is the one that, like, I'm, I'm jonesing to keep. I want to keep this particular shade. But i got to say, there's a lot of nudes here that I want to play with and some up here. Um, so I kind of want to get, essentially, I want to get, like, maybe these out. And maybe these here. Maybe. Let's swatch this and see what it looks like. No, no, don't need that one. Definitely. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. <laughs> Definitely don't need that one. Um, now, I haven't depotted a Morphe palette before. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to go. But I figured, you know, <laughs> let's record it and see how easy it is. Um, this is a cardboard palette. So I know I can cut into it. There are, Morphe also do these plastic palettes, which um, I would assume is going to be a lot more difficult to get into. I'm not really looking to um, depot this one at this point. It is the 3502, uh, just in case you're curious. Uh, it's like every other Morphe palette, to be fair. So I'm, I'm just going to, like, dig into it. I have, like... I do have some isopropyl alcohol and a pipette to potentially get um, underneath a, like a pan with some isopropyl alcohol to try and break down the glue. But I'm hoping to potentially pop, uh, pop these out or cut them out. It just depends on the glue. Um, I've got two tools here. This is a makeup spatula. The, this will bend. If the glue is hardcore, it will bend. So I also brought in a nail tool, which is a lot sturdier. Um, I'm going to experiment with like a shade down here and just see what I can do. I can see that the pan is sort of bending a little bit. But I basically just want to like jimmy it out, I think. Oh. That was easy. Um, I do have some magnetic palettes. I'm just going to see if they're magnetic pans. They're not. Okay. Well, that's not really an issue. Um, do I even want to keep this shade? I don't know. Do I care? Oh, it is actually a really nice bronzy shade. Okay. She's quite pretty, to be fair. Um, I won't hang on to that then. Let's just pop it in this little palette, keep her safe, and uh, let's let's try a matte because that's probably like these metallic formulas. <clears throat> if the palette bends a little bit as you're sort of jimmying it out. Um, you can usually sort of pull back and try to jimmy from another area. Um, to lift enough of the pan to prevent it from like bending in half and shattering the eyeshadow. Also, the formula is softer and a bit more malleable. Um, is this too dark? Let's maybe turn it up a little. So with the mattes, the formula is gonna be uh, a bit different, drier. There we go, so that one cracked. Let me see if I can show you. So you can see that that one has cracked there. Not surprising. Um, I kind of expected that to happen. So I might try, might try some alcohol. So I have some alcohol here in a pipette. Um, you can buy these off eBay. Um, the issue with doing this is actually getting the isopropyl alcohol like uh, sort of on the side of the pan and not in the pan. And I have shaky hands today because I have been living off coffee. That's what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna get it in the pan because like, yeah, it's gonna dry up, which is fine, but you also don't wanna risk like changing the formula of the eyeshadow. So 
I'm not really sure that um, that's going to be a great method of getting it out. So I've just sort of used the spatula to um, like drip some of the isopropyl alcohol onto it. But again, as I'm sort of trying to get the spatula in there, it is cracking the eyeshadow. So I'm going to move on. I've let that alcohol sit for a while. And look, to be honest, I just don't think the alcohol is really... Like, you have to get a lot down there. You can see that that has broken. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think that's... I don't think that's going to be what I want it to be. Um, so I'm going to not bother with that. I'm going to see if I can pull the base up without doing too much damage to the eyeshadows. Because if I can do that, it might be easier to get into. Okay. Let's zoom out. Okay, there we go. Black casualty, but that's okay. And we've got the cover off. All right, so essentially what we have is two layers of quite thick cardboard. Um, I wonder, I wonder. Nope. Yeah, I feel like the mats are just not going to come out easily. And I'm kind of like, do I even care that much? But look, you guys might kind of care. Um, so I feel like I want to try and work out how to get in there. Perhaps if we peel off this black layer... I will be able to see the two, oh, stuck my nail in that. Um, I'll be able to see the two layers of the cardboard better and then I might be able to cut between the cardboard layers. Oh, there's actually, oh my God, there's four layers of cardboard. So you can kind of peel them away as well. And what I'm thinking is if I can peel away all but the last layer of cardboard, what I can do is take my spatula, slide it under the pan, between like the pan and the cardboard, and then gently rock it back and forth to loosen up the glue. Okay, black layer is basically all completely off. Um, the only casualties I've had are ones that I tried to get out with tools and they cracked, um, or like I kind of dug my nails into a couple of the shades, but bends the brakes when you got nails. So what I wanna do is get in between these layers. Actually, let me show you the layers if I can. Okay, so hopefully you can see that there's like multiple layers of cardboard. And the next thing I want to do is just sort of take it and split the layers up and peel them off. Okay. So this part is going to be a little bit slow and tedious because you can see it's kind of coming away in like sections and I'm just sort of splitting and lifting. But I can here see like the bottom of the pans and I'm going to see if I can dig into this one without breaking it further. Oh, that's potentially as far as you need to go, one layer down. Let me try with this one. I need something to like, <laughs> get my hand, get a good grip on it. Nah, that one cracked. Okay, let's 
keep going. I'm gonna get this one out so I've got a space to put my hand. But you can see that metallic came out, no issues at all and didn't crack, didn't lift, didn't bend, nothing. So there's one that's survived the depotting. Yeah, the metallics are easy to get out, especially, oh, I just stuck my finger in that one, especially when you get down, like if you pull off a layer of the cardboard, really easy to get them out without um, damaging them. I'm very curious about trying to find a way to depot the mats. Um, not too much for myself, but more for you guys. If there are mats that are important to you, but like I would kind of like to be able to get this one and this one out, probably this one as well. And if I can, maybe some of these and these, but like I'm not going to cry a river if they all crack and break and I don't find a way to get them out safely. Um, but I at least want to try. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Definitely need to be careful with your tools. I don't care so much about these big ones in the middle. Um, they're also going to be like just experimental shades to see if I can get the mats out without breaking them. This red shade, that's the priority. That's the one that I just can't, I can't fuck it up. If I can get that out without damaging it, I'll be the happiest girl in the world. Okay, first layer of cardboard is off. Um, I now want to work on getting the second layer off and then we will be at the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. Um, so this is, <clears throat> oh, this is coming off. Oh no, spoke too soon. Um, this is definitely the most tedious part of the process. Um, and, you know, time consuming it's messy I've got shit all here so you know if you are going to try this method you can totally be a lot better prepared than I am um, I didn't even bring a bin over to my filming space but you know I'll show you how messy it gets and then you can uh, make sure that if you want to do it you're you're doing it a bit better than I am but basically I've got this bottom layer off from this mat and I'm willing to sacrifice this mat if I have to. The hell, my God. Oh, there we go. Oh, that, that actually worked really well. Okay, so there are some nicks and stuff in this one but that is because of my nails and me not being careful with it because I don't care that much. But that came out. I just slipped the skinny spatula underneath, got it under the glue and just popped right off. It's not cracked. There is glue stuck to the bottom. If you wanted to, you could totally uh, <clears throat> warm that on like a hair straightener or something like that to soften it up. You could try and soak it with isopropyl alcohol or acetone or whatever you want. Um, I personally don't care about having this at the bottom. It just doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Um, I do have a palette that has like the little inserts where, not inserts, but like little wells to put the pans in. So I would probably just do that 
and I also have some of the stick on magnetic um, pieces so I would just you know either use the palette with the little wells or put the little magnets on it um, so there we go that's gonna be the easiest way to get pans out of this palette I think there we go there's another mat that has not been damaged so just get it down to the bottom layer and peel them off these ones are the difficult ones oh but I did it <laughs> I got there Hang on, let's not stab anything all right these ones are more difficult because they have larger glue sections under them um, so maybe be patient with them try to loosen up a lot of the glue um, and the paper or the cardboard before peeling it off uh, but you can do it the shade to decide if I care about it but um, I can't massive 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 piece of advice if you're going to do this to a palette don't break the black eyeshadow accidentally because it's not good oh my god moment of truth and I'm I'm so scared to damage this red one. It's a metallic, so I can totally repress it, but I don't want to go to the hassle of doing that. So this is this is the baby. This is the beautiful baby that I want. Oh. And there she is. Da 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 da. And there we have it. I got all of the shades that I want. All right, so I got my little brown selection and my red. Um, I'm actually pretty, I'm happy with how this went. Okay, granted, I have a massive pigsty. I have black eyeshadow everywhere. Um, and I do have some casualties, but I worked out exactly how to depot one of these Morphe palettes without casualties. Um, it's just going to take a little bit of time, some patience, um, and a lot of mess. There's definitely a lot of mess. But you can sort of prepare yourself mentally for all that stuff. You can prepare yourself for a mess. All you need is a bin um, and then patience. Just don't, don't try to force it. Um, I haven't damaged any of my tools, which is great. They're all still straight. I didn't expect this one to get damaged because it's hard as nails. But um, yeah, with just a little like, you probably need one of these just to like cut the black plastic layer because it is a bit tough to get into. And then something to like lift the cardboard, but the rest can be done with your hands other than of course, lifting out a little pan. Um, you will need something flat and thin to do that. But um, I honestly, like, I don't think it, it's not difficult. It's not difficult. It's just messy. All right, guys. So that's it for me today. Feel free to leave your comments about how you depot palettes um, in the comments section, like with the Morphe cardboard ones or the Morphe plastic ones. I saw um, a bunch of people suggesting, like, melt the glue with something hot underneath it. I don't really know if that's necessary. Personally, I, I don't think it is. Um, I wouldn't do it with a plastic palette because you don't want to be melting the plastic and then have toxic plastic fumes in your workspace. That's not healthy for anyone. Um, but these cardboard ones, easy, easy to do. The plastic ones, I question how easy they would be. 
Uh, anyway, guys, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Pray for me when it comes to cleaning up this mess. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.